Kaze is a common Japanese word for wind. Kaze is also used when one catches a cold, even though it's written out differently. If you're sick, you might say, Kaze o hite imasu. Well, I got a fever. And the only prescription is more Kaze flex. Welcome to Machines and More. Things are heating up here in the all black heat sink and black fan space. And here's a new color variation of the Scythe Kaze Flex 120 millimeter fan. Even though I've used the Kaze Flex fans before, I haven't specifically tested their performance. So today we're going to do just that with the all black version. The Kaze Flex model is the fan that Scythe uses for most of its air coolers in various RPM ranges and in slim and full 25 millimeter thicknesses. So this new color scheme is all black. Um, unlike the black with uh, gray fan blades and the gray dampeners on the previous version, which will still be available. It's nice to see that they're keeping the design fresh by mixing things up a little bit. It's not just a color thing though. The RPM ranges aren't the same. In the gray, you have two three pin versions that cap out at either 800 or 2000 RPM. And you also have a four pin 300 to 1200 RPM max RPM version uh, that you might have seen on your Fuma 2 or Mugen 5 coolers. In some sense, this fan addresses one of my main concerns with Scythe coolers. I always thought that the coolers could have benefited from being equipped with a fan that has a higher max RPM and just to let the user adjust the fan curve if it's too noisy. The interesting thing is that the black one is only available in this four pin 300 to 1500 RPM configuration, which makes the fan much more usable as a heat sink or rad fan while still being a great case fan. I will be including this one in the upcoming rad fan test part two, but today let's first check out how it does on an air cooling heat sink. So I set this one up in two different ways. One was in a push-pull configuration on a Noctua U12A compared against the venerable NFA 12 by 25 and to eliminate any bias that may be introduced by matching a brand's heatsink to its fans, I threw these both on the ID Cooling SE224 XT in a single fan configuration. Noise normalized to a noise level of two and a half decibels above the noise floor. The Kaze Flex spun at about 1200 RPM compared to the NFA 12x25s at 1500 RPM. It's a big RPM difference due to the fan designs, but the results are quite close with the Ryzen 7 5800X. It's constantly within a degree when running Cinebench R23 on a repeated cycle. The Noctua being the 120 millimeter fan to beat is better, but it's really not hugely better in this case. On the ID Cooling SE224 XT, the single fan RPMs for the same noise level were at 1280 and 1600 RPM for the Scythe and Noctua respectively. And we're still seeing the same roughly one degree gap, which really, really impressive. Another thing I really like about the Kaze Flex is that in general, the noise characteristics of the fan are very predictable. You don't get too much motor whine or rumble, the bearings are smooth, and there's no clicking. Very, very unsurprising in that regard. So I'll just show one noise sample here at the noise normalized RPM, just for reference against the Noctua. So wow, this is a very good fan for an air cooler. And if you have a Scythe cooler ready and you need a higher RPM fan, or you have a more budget oriented cooler like the 224XC, this is a great choice for a fan upgrade. It does come stock on the revised Mugen 5 Black Edition, which looks super, super slick. And I hope this will come bundled with additional coolers because this RPM range makes so much more sense. And I'd say at the higher end of the performance spectrum, the higher RPM is almost necessary to make it usable. Other than the performance characteristics, these are really well built. They come with nice rubber dampeners on the corners. And even though the stock cable is 30 centimeters long, you still get a 20 centimeter extension cable uh, very nice and convenient from Scythe and black fan screws included. 
the polymer on the blades and the fan, it's thick and there's very little play with the fluid dynamic bearing. And actually, I'm not sure why it's called a Kaze Flex. Certainly, this is a very sturdy fan with very little flex. It likes to flex its muscle. Anyhow, great fan here. Uh, thanks to Scythe for sending these by for review. And if you'd like to support the channel, please feel free to check out the product links down below and go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.